Here's the midday update for January 19th, 2011. This is wave one, this is wave two, and this is wave three in NASDAQ. We're looking at least a wave four. But a wave four in the NASDAQ would have held uh, 2742, which is a 0.382, and it actually dropped below that. Worst case scenario, this is actually a wave one, and minimum, this is a wave two. Wave two will target as low as 27.15 before a bounce. That would be 0.618 retracement of the entire move from 26.77 to 27.67. For S&P, if this is three and this is four, uh, the worst case scenario is that um, the Rosh is seeing wave one, wave two, and um, S&P would drop to as low as 12.75 and then get a rally. I'd actually prefer to get a wave two because that would set up another third wave move, another trade. But um, it surpassed fourth wave, 0 0.382 support at 12.86. So we need to hold uh, 12.75 to the downside or worse. The Dow doesn't look that bad, though. Not as bad as, as, as S&P and, and NASDAQ. But since S&P and NASDAQ are basically following the, are in sync together, I wouldn't look at the Dow as, a, as, the, um, as, as the leadership or the downside leadership. I look at S&P and NASDAQ. So basically S&P has got to hold 12.75, which is 0.618. And NASDAQ has got to hold <clears throat> 27.05, approximately 27.10. Yeah, 27.10 to 27.15. That's a wrap.